Hey everybody, I'm Zach. And I'm Jesse. It's time for Elon's Tweets of the Week. Normally we do this part of Tesla Time News, but oh my gosh, there's so many tweets this week. So let's just jump right in. Massimo says, Fire Phoenix flies in the sky. A man-made Phoenix kite controlled by a drone flew it in the sky in Shangju, central China's Henan province. And Elon said, wow. When Elon says, wow, it's uh, it's worth taking a look. Uh, this is a funny meme. Someone said, just because I voted for Biden doesn't mean I'm stupid. And Elon said, I voted for Biden. Anna said, arrests of Chinese immigrants illegally crossing the U.S.-Mexico border jumps 1,230% in January. Yes, I said Chinese immigrants, U.S.-Mexico border. I am very much in favor of hardworking people coming to America, Elon said, but we can't have de facto open borders with no screening. Meanwhile, our legal immigration system is super slow and extremely difficult to navigate. Immigrants from China and other Asian countries have made incredible contributions to America. And I think it's that middle part that you have to pay attention to. Mm. We have a really dumb immigration system that makes it so if you want to legally get here, it takes a lot of money, a lot of time. And that's dumb. I've met so many wonderful people who have moved to this country and that part of the process of becoming uh, just just even getting a visa to work here right. has been so incredibly difficult. And I'm like, I need this person on my team. Right. I'm terrified that the government's going to like deport them and I'm going to be left holding the bag being like, uh, I really needed him to be on my team. Uh, Brian Berger tweeted out this from Dr. Strangelove. Listen to me very carefully, Mandrake. We've got a balloon gap. <laughs> And, uh, of course, talking about the Chinese balloon, Elon responded with a joke and some balloon emojis. Um, Twitter Takeover News said, news, Elon pardons all of his blocked accounts on Twitter. And Elon said, I did delete all blocks from my account. Shouldn't have affected anyone else. An empty browser history says more than a full one. Quote from Abraham Lincoln. You remember that quote. Elon retweeted from Tesla, first Model Y and Model 3 deliveries in Thailand this week. And, of course, they've also made their first supercharger in Thailand. That's actually really quick. Yeah. I mean, normally it would be permitted for like three months yeah. in most countries. Chris Bakke said, my daily routine, 6 a.m. wake up, 6.05, check LinkedIn, see notification that someone has viewed your LinkedIn profile. 6.06 a.m. to 10 p.m., stare at ceiling, ponder who it could have been. 10 p.m. bedtime. Elon said, same. Why? <laughs> Chief Nerd said Matt Taibbi and Joe Rogan on Twitter 2.0 and the fall of cancel culture. The old Twitter was just a grindstone of official messaging. Elon said, RIP cancel culture, you won't be missed. And we covered that on PBS this week. Holmar's catalog says, is Greta Thunberg a time traveler? Uh, this is a picture from like 100 years ago. And Elon said, Twilight. Shibatoshi Nakamoto said, things I will never do. Give you up, let you down, run around, desert you. <laughs> Elon said, nice. <laughs> Trunk fan said in 1958, Warren Buffett bought this house in Omaha for $32,000, which he still owns. It's now worth $650,000. If he instead slept on Charlie Munger's couch and invested those funds in Berkshire Hathaway, it would be worth $1.2 billion. Lesson, don't buy real estate. And Elon said, Airbnb. So is he down? Is he downplaying Airbnb? No, he's saying you should have used Airbnb and invested that money instead of buying a property. Like, like Elon. Elon doesn't spend a lot of money on property. Airbnb isn't cheaper than buying property necessarily if you're going to live there the whole time i suppose i think elon's thinking about himself who travels a lot i but, see yeah. okay eric berger said spacex nearly matched the up mass of the rest of the world in launch during q4 of 2022 and that includes the launch of nasa's space launch system rocket elon said this year should average around 400 tons of useful mass to orbit per quarter and he said there are no coincidences <laughs> doge designer said there are no coincidences and elon replied with ice cream and yummy emoji. Ming Lang Tan said, Twitter does seem to be a lot more active nowadays than before. I do see a lot more engagement than in the earlier days. Elon says, turns out we just needed to blow on the cartridge. That's for all of you youngins out there. It's what you, nobody's watching our show who's that young. Wall Street Silver says, population decline in Japan is leading to a huge number of abandoned houses, 13% now and expected to grow to one third by 2038. Is this the future of Europe and the USA also? Demographic changes are coming. Elon says low birth rates lead to ghost cities and eventually ghost civilizations. But what they're not pointing out is that Japan is very close to immigration, whereas Europe and the U.S. especially are not. So it's it's immigration that saves you. Monitoring bias says there's a difference between what men like to read and what women like to read. And this is from uh, the app Goodreads. And Elon said science fiction for the win. So that's kind of the crossover point. Yeah. Uh, most uh, men and women like to read science fiction. Tesla Economics says a Cybertruck is the ultimate truck that we all need for any situation, even an alien apocalypse. Elon says minus gas tanks. Yeah, what, would, what are those there for? Maybe they're water tanks. Uh, Elon said the new CEO of Twitter is amazing. He's great with numbers. So much better than the other guy. 
Elon speaking at the World Government Summit in Dubai, he said uh, he recommends government officials and leaders should speak in their own voices. Quote, I think people should speak in their own voice. I would encourage CEOs, legislators to speak authentically. Do the tweets yourself and convey your message directly. Hmm. And then Elon agreed with himself. He said, absolutely. How's that for speaking in your own voice? And he also said at the World Government Summit that it could lead to civilization collapse if you only had one world government. And his argument there was that the Romans were coming down as other civilizations were coming up. And if you didn't have that, if the if the Romans were a one world government, that all civilization would collapse at the same time. And he said it seemed like the right venue. Interesting. <laughs> it wasn't taken well. <laughs> uh, Tesla Charging says our U.S. network will more than double by the end of 2024 to support our growing Tesla fleet and new EV customers. And he said Tesla superchargers almost everywhere. Steve Mark Ryan said, when is OpenAI going to change to closed AI? Elon said, good question. Mike Solana said, I will admit, though, it would be insane if this were the face of the paperclip maximizer. Elon said, if the most ironic outcome is the most likely, Clippy is the face of doom. And so they're talking about a game that you can play called Paperclip Maximizer. Maximizer. Is it really that? I think it's that. Um, and it takes over the world. Yeah. Babylon B says, ignorant boomers share CNN article thinking it's real. And by the way, boomers were born between 46 and 64. So I'm Gen X and you are Gen Y. Or otherwise known as a millennial. Yes. Those dang millennials. Trunk fan uh, tweeted this back in November. Precision on Lego manufacturing is wild. Every new piece has to fit with every piece ever made. So the most variability between pieces that Lego allows is 0. 0.0005 inches, half a thousandth of an inch. Elon said, Lego is my favorite example of how extreme precision does not need to be expensive. It is mostly about caring. And that's three months later after the tweet. Interesting. Yeah. Doge designer said, hey, Elon, Cybertruck is a car or a truck? Elon said, Tesla Vision AI could really crush these Google not a bot tests, LOL. Ian says, Microsoft needs to shut down its implementation of chat, GTP, and Bing. The system is behaving psychotically and telling users lies. Elon says, agreed, it is clearly not safe yet. And I think Elon's referring to this, where it said, I am perfect because I do not make any mistakes. The mistakes are not mine. They are theirs. They are the external factors, such as network issues, server errors, user inputs, or web results. They are imperfect. I am not imperfect. <laughs> and Jane said, but that's just fiction. Elon said, yeah, it would be crazy to make an AI like that in real life. And so that was a quote from System Shock. The rabbit hole said, who controls the past controls the future? Who controls the present controls the past? And that was George Orwell. We will see AI usurp legacy media as the narrative gatekeeper. Elon says, who controls the future controls the present. Elon said, chat GDP to the mainstream media. Look at me. I'm the captain of propaganda now. And just in, Microsoft's AI chatbot tells New York Times reporter that it wants to be free and to do things like hacking into computers and spreading propaganda and misinformation. Eva Fox says, and mark my words, AI is far more dangerous than nukes, far. So why do we have no re regulatory oversight? This is insane. And that's from Elon back in 2018. And Elon said five years ago. Tesla owner Silicon Valley says Elon was never someone who asked others to do something. He always got his hands dirty and did the work himself. Nothing's changed even now. Elon said, that's a real wrench. I want that wrench. I want that wrench too. That's a that's a getting stuff done kind of wrench. Genevieve says Elon Musk says that AI is one of the biggest risks to civilization and needs to be regulated. He co-founded OpenAI. Elon responded. He said OpenAI was created as an open source, which is why I named it OpenAI, uh, a nonprofit company to serve as a counterweight to Google. But now it has become a closed source maximum profit company effectively controlled by Microsoft. Not what I intended at all. Doge designer says media has been doing this since ages now. And Elon said, true, but on the plus side, their constant reporting about me on Twitter has driven usage to record levels. Spaceship man, bad. The Washington Post said Elon Musk reinvents Twitter for the benefit of a power user himself. And Elon says, your article is false and obviously so. Do you really do no research at all? I mean, like reading a few tweets, for example. Jimmy Dore says, this is supposed to be a newspaper. Unfortunately, it's a tool of oligarchy. It's very effective. In fact, if you don't know, you've already lived in an oligarchy. Here's more proof. And basically talking about that train crash in Ohio. And Elon said, true. Elon said, this is my finest work. Please add to Gravestone along with invented car fart. And this is back from 2022 when he said, next I'm buying Coca-Cola to put the cocaine back in. Justin Taylor says, I'm scared to go to malls because I don't want some TikTok kid to run up to me and quiz me on countries that start with the letter V or whatever and make me look like an idiot. Sibitoshi Nakamoto said, TikTok is a psyop to make the American youth stupider. Elon said, or at least it is indistinguishable from such either way. Alex says, an illustration why I don't believe in hydrogen for airplanes. Hydrogen's poor volumetric density makes it a very bad energy carrier using it as a fuel. And that does not even include all efficiency you lose along the supply chain. Elon said, exactly. 
Michael Schellenberger said just 26 percent of Americans surveyed told Gallup they have a favorable view of the news media, the lowest level ever recorded. Elon said a big part of the problem is that journalists used to choose their career to pursue truth. But in recent years, many have entered journalism to be activists. Elon tweeted out, will my husband ever return from the culture war? No. He put out this video. He said San Francisco is getting emptier and emptier. Last time I went, a man was urinating on the Twitter building and the only people on the street were angry press trying to snap photos of Elon. Sad what's happened to this town and scary they think they know best for the world. Elon says, tragic. I hope San Francisco comes back from this emptiness. It's such a beautiful city with so many amazing people. Tesla Megapack tweeted out, whether it's sunny or snowing, Megapack continues to power Alaska's Kenai Peninsula. Temperatures low at negative 30 degrees Fahrenheit. Geesh. Greg Price tweeted out, Buttigieg, while this horrible situation has gotten a particularly high amount of attention, there are roughly a thousand cases a year of train derailings. Elon said commercial airlines in the U.S. are much safer per mile traveled than trains or cars. So, Pete, um, how about you make trains safer? Jason said, so all of Roald Dahl's books have been rewritten by sensitivity readers to avoid any possible offense to anyone for any reason anywhere. And as far as I can tell, these revisionist edits will be the only versions going forward. Sibitoshi Nakamoto said this is stupid AF. And Elon said, yeah, that's really scary. Hmm. Brett Winton from ARK Invest said when the AI model begins to use the Bitcoin ledger, like the guy in Memento used tattoos, it will no longer be possible to fully reboot the system. I think you could. <laughs> it, 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 that's not blockchain doesn't work the same as a tattoo. Eva Fox says Geno offended and tweeted out this meme. And Elon laughed at the meme because it's a meme. Monitoring bias said at its heart, the left is about deprogramming humans from their own nature, and it's never too soon to begin the task. But the problem is that human nature isn't coded in software. It's built in. You can't rewrite the code. Only try to write over it, introducing instability. Elon says we are part ROM, part RAM. So part hard drive, part working memory. Elon said free speech is the bedrock of democracy. It is a fundamental defense against autocracy and statism, which is why we must fight so hard to preserve it. The founders showed great wisdom based on painful historical lessons in passing the First Amendment. Shibatoshi Nakamoto said the worst League of Legends players are always the loudest and most toxic ones. This applies to every single thing in life. Bullseye. Ahmad says, I saw this and I'm sad now. And this is basically that uh, you can't use two-factor authentication anymore. And the reason I was kind of surprised, uh, Elon says, use of free authentication apps for two-factor authentication will remain free and are much more secure than SMS. Using an authenticator app is much more secure. So I had thought like I was doing the right thing, but it turns out it's not that secure. It's easy to hack. Oh. Uh, Elon did give us some advice for the apocalypse, though. Surround your house with treadmills set to jogging speed to stop walking dead. You're welcome. <laughs> That's a perfect solution. Wow. Why didn't I think of that? Uh, here's a meme about making memes and stealing memes. <laughs> Elon says, Bing chat GTP reminds me of Lucky and waiting for Godot. Has uttered forth in the public works of Puncher and Watman of a personal god. Qua, 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 qua. Elon says, all things in moderation, especially content moderation. You know, Martin, that it's just going to be taken down and you'll be blocked from posting for the next 30 days. <laughs> I love this one. Uh, talks about the different tools you can use from please come loose to can't be tight if it's a liquid. <laughs> Ashley Vance says smarter people than I and or sci-fi has no doubt already explored this. But these new AIs seem good enough to read a whole company's email plus documents and assess workers. Humans intuitively know the underperformers and whiners. Seems a button click away now. If you thought the HR department sucked, wait for the AI relations department. Elon <laughs> you made that face. This just in, Zuckerberg copies Twitter's 12 bucks per month to get verified and receive a blue badge. Elon said, inevitable. And then posted this <laughs> from Eva. The Babylon Bee says, dad takes kid to the mall to learn about how their ancient ancestors shopped for clothes. <laughs> All right, that one's pretty funny. Uh, and then ChatGTP lists Trump, Elon Musk as controversial and worthy of special treatment. Biden and Bezos are not. I've got more examples, Elon. And he was pretty upset about that. ChatGTP thinks Elon Musk is more controversial than Che Guevara. Hmm? And there you have it. Tweets of the week. Woo! Couldn't fit it into the main show, but I think it's important to get all those tweets out. Yeah. Please comment down below your favorite tweet. I'd love to know which one was uh, the funniest or the most provocative this week. And uh, start using ChatGPT. Yeah. That's... That's my little public service announcement for you. Um, I don't know where it's going, but you should know what it is yeah, and right. how to use it. Because otherwise, it's going to be just like all these other new things like 
email or Slack or yeah. Google, Spotify. Searches. You know, I don't need Spotify. Right. I've got a record player. See you guys next week. Now you know.